Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariela. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's free. Without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So there are three types of scholarships that I want to share with you guys today. There's the need-based scholarship, there's the merit-based scholarship, and we have the random scholarships. So I'm going to put these scholarship types in the most simplest definition form for you guys. So it's going to be the need base. Mostly it's under 40000 where you really need money and assistance. You can apply for fast fund stuff and that's where the need base is going to come from. Then you have your merit based scholarships for ACT scores, SAT scores, and GPAs, all of the above. And then you have your random scholarships which are your video submission scholarships and your essay scholarships. Also probably like basketball scholarships, dance scholarships, and any other scholarship that does not have a category, so that would be placed in there. So another very crucial part of applying to scholarships is keeping track of the scholarships themselves. You want to create a type of like document or sheet or maybe even just a piece of paper, you can write it down. Um, just like the title of the scholarship, if you won the scholarship and the like website link so you can go back and check on it just in case like you win it or you don't and then that way you can cross it off of your list. So I won the Earn to Learn scholarship, I also won the Live My scholarship, and the Daughtry Foundation scholarship. The only thing I wanted to show you is how to freeze this pane. So you'll click on B1, go right here, and freeze. So up to current row 1, and this will allow you to look at the scholarships going up this way. Now you may be asking yourself, where can I find all these scholarships at? Well, the very first thing I'm going to tell you guys is to ask your friends and family if they know anyone or if their job has a scholarship going on and you can apply for it through there. Now the second one that you can ask is your school counselor or a school advisor if they know of any scholarships that are going on. And the third is using your online resources. There are a ton of websites that you can use to search for scholarships. You can even just go into Google and search for scholarships in your state. You can be like, scholarships in Arizona because that's where I live so I would search that up and it'll like pop up like a whole list of them. You can use the different type of search engines for scholarships and databases or portals whatever you want to call them. Those are really amazing and you can find small scholarships through there and everything is just so amazing. Let me just show you guys all this stuff. We're gonna start off with some search engines. FastWeb and scholarships.com these are very helpful if you don't know where to start and you need help finding scholarships but i'm gonna just go on the featured scholarships for now and then you can like literally like let me click on one that looks real because some of them are like sketchy so i'll go to like the do something.org and then like you can apply to these different types of scholarships so yeah if they ask for a credit card number never click on them the next one I'm going to show you guys is my ASU website right here. Let me show you guys how to get here first of all. So if you go to asu.edu, you can get here and you just search up scholarships. And then you just go to ASU scholarships right here. Go to scholarship search. Search scholarships. And it should bring you to this website right here. And a lot of people won't think to look here, just ASU students, because it's an ASU website. But let me tell y'all something. If you go here and click here on these, it'll tell you like the amount, the minimum, the age requirement and stuff. And it'll tell you like you don't have to be at ASU to apply for these scholarships. So you can even be an incoming freshman. Y'all see this like, mm -mm. then you can just go right here on the application link and it'll open the website for you. So yeah, you don't even have to be like going to ASU to be able to access it. Like I'm not even logged into my ASU. So yeah, ASU is very awesome for having this scholarship search portal thing available to everyone. Just don't apply to the scholarships that say portal app because these are only for ASU students. So yeah, but definitely use the ASU website to your advantage. It's really awesome and I love this website. I usually use this one to apply to all my scholarships and then fastweb and scholarships.com are like my last two if I don't find any on the ASU website. So this application and like scholarship thing is only available for people who live in Arizona 
but check if your state does have any. Maybe you can ask people around if they know of a website like this, but for Arizona students, they definitely do have this, so please apply to this. You submit one general application with like a couple of essays and it'll like submit your application to multiple types of scholarships and I won one of them which was amazing. I didn't even know I would win. It was $2,000 from the Daughtry Foundation so thank you guys so much for the scholarship. It means so much and this actually doesn't open until January of 2019 so y'all be on the lookout. Now, I want to talk to you guys about the Live Mask Scholarship. This is my favorite scholarship ever. I won $5,000 from Taco Bell. And a lot of people actually, surprisingly, do not know about the Live Mask Scholarship Foundation at all. I actually work at Taco Bell, and I found out when I started working there that they had this, so I applied ASAP. They have two different programs. They have the Scholarship Regular Panel Program, and they also have the Employee Restaurant Panel, and that's where I applied through. So most of the money that we fundraise for the Lima scholarships goes towards the regular applications and so little goes to the restaurant employees. So in 2019, we are going to be awarding $4 million in scholarships, which is really crazy. The Lima scholarship is really amazing. You guys should truly apply for it. You literally just apply with a video, two minutes talking about your passion. If you guys want more information, just go on the website. But like y'all need to apply to this one and these other scholarship links that you can apply to are like the bigger ones so this is the coca-cola scholars foundation they have the bill gates scholars too they have the hispanic scholarship fund the acer scholarship from mcdonald's and they have the dell scholars program too but a lot of these are just for high school seniors so if you're a high school senior take advantage of these like i would apply again if i could okay now i'm gonna share with you guys three tips for applying for scholarships the first tip i'm gonna give you is to make sure your application is completely finished i wouldn't give someone ten thousand dollars if they couldn't follow the simple instructions that i give them for applying for this scholarship so i don't think someone else would do that too especially people who are giving out more than ten thousand dollars like no I'm probably going to give it to the person that completely finished the application. So keep that in mind when you're applying for scholarships. Make sure everything is completely finished because if you turn something in, it's just going to be a bother to read if it was really good at the beginning but then there's no finish. And always have extra copies of unofficial transcripts, letters of recommendations. Just make sure that you won't forget those things because those are very important when you're applying for scholarships. Tip number no dos is going to be to set aside time to apply for scholarships. Literally, applying for scholarships should be like your part-time job, especially if you're in high school. Like, you are blessed with that time that you have on your hands. Like, please use it up. Like, right now that I'm in college, I have to use my winter break, which is no fun, to apply for scholarships. But I really don't mind it because I'm trying to win some money for my education, so... Just keep that in mind, use your time wisely, and the tip number no tres that I'm going to give you guys is just to apply to every scholarship possible. Like I applied to over a hundred scholarships and I only earned three, which is not like an only, you know, but I only received the three out of 100 scholarships or more that I applied to, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, but a lot of people apply to scholarships because people do need them, so just make sure to apply for them because you will at least get one if you apply to 50 or more so it's not just about applying to one scholarship and hey i'm gonna get that scholarship no it doesn't work like that for those essays i know that sometimes we make small mistakes and there's always room for mistakes but i will share with you guys two websites that are very helpful for catching small mistakes and i use them to proofread my essays all the time so those are gonna be grammarly and paper reader And lastly, if you stuck around for this whole video, thank you so much. I've included some helpful resources for you guys down below. And everything that we covered today in this video will be down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out before leaving this video. Also, shout out to Sulema for buying me this beautiful cactus. It's amazing. It makes my background stand out so much. So thanks, girl. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and tell me 
what you guys are looking forward to when you get to college or if you're in college right now, what you're looking for in the upcoming year. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.